Let's go. And we will sing. Oh. September 16, 2021. So we've moved on to the second half of the month of September 2021. This is your lab boy today, and for your lab boy today, we're discussing God, our righteous judge. God, our righteous judge. And we are taking our reading from the epistle of Paul to the Romans in chapter 2. We've been in that epistle for a couple of days now. And today, we are taking our reading from the first verse of that second chapter of the epistle of Paul to the Romans. So let's go. Therefore, thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judgest, for wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself, for thou that judgest dost the same things. But we are sure that the judgment of God is according to truth against them which commit such things. And thinkest thou this, O man, that judgest them which do such things, and doest the same, that thou shalt escape the judgment of God? Or despisest thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance? But after thy hardiness and impertinent heart, treasurest up unto thyself wrath against the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God who will render to every man according to his deeds, to them who by patience, continuance in well-doing, seek for glory and honor and immortality, eternal life. But unto them that are contentious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation and wrath, tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil, of the Jews first and also of the Gentiles, but glory, honor, and peace to every man that walketh good, to the Jew first, and also to the Gentile. For there is no respect of persons with God. For as many as have sinned without the law shall perish without law, and as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. For not the hearers of the Lord are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. For when the Gentiles, which have not the law, do by nature the things contained in the law, these, having not the law, are a law unto themselves, which show the work of the law written in their hearts, their conscience also bearing witness, and their thoughts, the mean which, while accusing or else excusing one another. In the day when God shall judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ according to my gospel. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is a righteous judge. And for Paul the apostle to write this epistle to the Romans, even when he had not yet visited them, he had only heard of Rome. Of course, Rome was the center of the world at the point in time when Paul wrote this epistle. And perhaps one of his very first epistles, if not the very first, having been written about 57 to 60 AD. Even when the Gospels of Mark, Matthew, Luke and John 
perhaps were not written. If any gospel had been written at that time, perhaps it was only the gospel of Mark. And so this was a fundamental thing that Paul the Apostle was doing at this point in time. He was setting the record straight, letting the people of Rome, a people that were cosmopolitan in nature, there were Jews there, there were Gentiles there, there were the Roman uh, um, rulers there. There were those that were being ruled there. And, you know, there were all kinds of divisions and um, agglomerations at the same time. You know, the Jews will always be in the synagogues. Of course, they were far away from the temple because the temple remained in Jerusalem. But they would gather in the synagogues and read the law. And what Paul was trying to let the Romans understand, these Romans in this case, the Jews amongst them, to let them know that you just do not read the law. You must do what is in the law because God is not going to say because you are a Jew and you read the law. Therefore, then he's going to judge you dif differently from the others. God does not do things that way. He was also telling the Gentiles there, don't worry about the law being in the custody of the Jews and they're reading it in the synagogues. You just do that which is right according to that law of God. You know, do that which will please God and God is still going to judge you righteous. Even if you are a Roman ruler, and you do that which pleases God, God is going to judge you righteous. So God is not a respecter of persons. That was the main message that Paul the Apostle was trying to put across to the Romans here. And the Romans here, like I told you, of all races, of all, because Rome was the center of the world. And interestingly, at that time, they had that young Emperor Nero that at that time was um, not yet as crazy as he later turned out to be and was persecuting everybody. But that was Rome that was also the center of the philosophy and the philosophers of the world. And so while Paul was struggling to get this message across to the Romans, even when he had not visited them because he only heard about the happenings in Rome, he was also setting theology in place. He was setting the gospel in place. He was setting foundations of faith in place so that people will know that what they needed to do was to have faith in the law, in God, and do that which will please him. What Paul the apostle was doing here was letting them understand that all they needed to do was to love God with all of their hearts and with all of their minds and to love fellow men with all of their hearts and with all of their mind and if they did all this which will just be in tandem with the law whether you are a greek or like the greeks will call non-greeks you are a barbarian or whether you are a jew or you are a gentile you know all those funny divisions god will not matter what god will not take into consideration all those factors of your ethnicity, your background. All God is interested in is that you do his will because God is our righteous judge. All God is interested in is that you do according to his purposes, you follow his law of love. Love God and love man because God is our righteous judge. And if God is our righteous judge, I pray that you will be judged rightly with him and that is only if you do that which is righteous in his sight today, like we always pray every day. So, I pray for you that you do that which is righteous in his sight today and always in Jesus' name. You will do that which is righteous in his sight if you know about his righteousness, if you know about Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, if you know that you have justification in him by faith, and if you have given your life to Jesus. But if you have not, then I tell you, this is an opportunity for you also to get introduced properly to that God, our righteous judge, and to get justified by your faith in Jesus Christ our Lord. What do you do? All you need to do, say this prayer of confession and of repentance after me and accept Jesus Christ into your life today. Come after me. Let's do that together. Say, Lord, I come to you today, having told that you are God, our righteous judge. And I want to be judged righteously with you. 
Therefore, forgive me of my sinful past. I accept that I have not been faithful with you. Let me now be taken as one of yours, that my story will be rewritten and my name be written in the book of life. Do this for me, Lord Jesus. I pray in Jesus' name. If you said that prayer, I say amen for you. And I say welcome into that kingdom of those that follow the God that is our righteous judge. For the rest of us, whether you just gave your life or you've been part of that kingdom all along, let's say this second prayer together. Say, Father, help me to be a doer of your word. Help me to please you. Help me to be judged rightly by you. Help me to the extent that all my doings will be ordered by your governance, that I will always do that which is right in your sight always. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So go out today and recognize that our God is our righteous judge and he will not give bad justice to that to he who is good, nor will he give, it, give good justice to he who is bad. He's just going to judge you according to your faith and according to your works. I pray that you are judged righteous in Jesus' name. God bless you today. Amen. I judge you faithful. I call you faithful, I call you good.